You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Hmm. Hey, what's up, family and friends? For those who don't know us, I am Mike Will. This is my beautiful wife, Davina. We wanted to come on here and share with you guys today. But before we do that, let me allow my wife to speak. Hey everyone, um, we're just coming on today. We want to share a little bit about our life, um, kind of what's been going on with us uh, for the past couple of months. Um, we've, we've had some things just pop up in our life that we've really felt led to share. Um, this is out of our character, our personality, but we really believe that um, sharing this information and just a little bit about our journey right now um, is something that the Lord is directing us to do. So Michael and I, we've been married for coming up on 22 years, right? Yes, that's 22. correct. Mm -hmm. 22 years, uh, we currently have four adult uh, young kids. Well, they're not really kids, but... The kids to us. Yeah. So. Four kids, adult kids, six grandkids. We just had our sixth grandkid, Annika. Yeah, yeah, Annika, she's was born September 30th as a preemie, so we're excited. We haven't seen her since she's been out of the hospital, but we're excited. So, yeah, 22 years in May, May 19th, right? Yeah, 22, 22 short years. years. Been through a lot <laughs> in those 22 years, yes. but it's been worth it. Yeah, it's been worth it. been worth it. The purpose of us sharing today with everyone um, is we just had a lot of things that have transpired what within the last couple of months since yeah September? a couple of months but definitely years so. yeah but mainly the last couple of months yeah since September we've talked to some family uh, we've talked to a few friends but we really haven't publicly talked about what we're currently experiencing right now in our life. Correct. We have it. And so we want to share today this current trial that we have, or I can say momentary affliction, however you look at it. September 14th, right? Yes. September 14th was probably a day that changed our life uh, in a way that we probably have never even expected it to happen. Correct. September 14th, 2022, Michael was diagnosed with stage two multiple myeloma cancer. As much as it's probably a shock to you to hear that, it has definitely been a shock to us as well. Yeah, it's been a blow, but you know, I like to designate it as little c uh, for what's best for my mind to recognize that God is bigger than cancer. And I agree with that. I don't necessarily call it little C. I just say that he has this wickedness inside of him right now. This disease that we truly believe, it didn't come by surprise of God. It didn't just, nothing that we did to say, okay, Michael's going to get cancer because we've done something, but it's just what is our lot right now? Is This is a affliction, this is a trial that we have definitely right now. It is, definitely is an affliction. It's, it's a trial, it's a struggle. Yeah. It hasn't been easy. We, when we first found out about it, we struggled with it probably for the first week. It was really tough. We kind of took a break from the world to just process this. What does this mean? What what does it mean going forward? What does this mean for our life? Uh, how do we address this? How do we how do we even plan life around this? So we took a week to decompress, and it was we, we went to St. Louis Bread Co. Yes, we did. Maybe the week after, uh -huh. and we sat down. We had a salad. Do you remember the salad we had? I don't remember the name of the salad, but I do remember the salad. It was salad. a green goddess cob yes, salad. It was, it That's was. like the best 
It was you a don't, good salad. It was. You want a salad at St. Louis Bread Co., eat the Green Goddess Cop. It'll save your life. <laughs> but anyway, um, we did. We sat down, we ate a salad, and we prayed. We, prayed. we talked. Uh, we talked. We actually said the words cancer. Yeah. In present tense, this is our life right now, cancer. And we ate, we prayed some more, and we resolved that day that we were gonna, not going to allow cancer to defeat us. We were not gonna allow it to dictate how we moved in our rhythms. Uh, we weren't gonna allow it to take away our joy. We weren't gonna allow it to appear that it was a death sentence on our life. Although whenever you're diagnosed with something like cancer, you think death because usually you've experienced someone passing of, of cancer. And that day we resolved that we were gonna glorify the Lord in whatever this looked like for us. Correct. Which isn't easy, no. but it is definitely what we have to do because, you know, if we're gonna stand for the Lord when we don't have any problems, uh, then we should be ready to stand for the Lord when we have the big problems. Right. So he gets all the glory. It didn't sneak up on him, it snuck up on us. He definitely snuck but, up on us. <laughs> but it didn't sneak up on him. And, and that's encouraging. So as we go through this process, we just want, you know, you know, our friends and families to know that uh, we are encouraged because we know who's in control. Right. Right? Exactly. Exactly. So through this, for me, how I process things is writing. I journal a lot, and so I, need, I knew I needed to get in my mind, well, what was in my mind out. I needed to get it out, and I decided to do something that I've never done before, which was blog. So talked with Michael, are you okay with putting this on a platform where we blog this and people read what's going on, how we're feeling, how they can pray for us, and he was good with that. And and I vowed to, I'm going to blog this whether we're smiling, struggling, because this is real. And someone's going through something, and through our blog, our whole purpose is that the Lord would be glorified through this whole thing. That we would give Him glory in everything that we do through the actions of how we go through this new normal. Right. And so we blog. And that's what we want to share, is allow our life to be a little bit of an open book for our family, friends, those that may not know us. And we hope that there would be some encouragement that others can see in our life of how encouragement through our friends, our family, our church body has really been right there with us. And we want to be that same encouragement to someone else that if the Williams can get through this unknown storm, you can get through this unknown storm that you're going through as well. So we blog, and that's what we wanna share with you, is our journey. And we want you to press in and live life with us, even though you may not see us on a regular basis. But you will live life with us through the typing of words through how we just share our daily yeah, walk. Know. Yeah, sure, I walk. Which is, uh, you know, it ain't the most popular walk, but <laughs> it, no, it is not. definitely our walk, and uh, we, we want to open it up to be an encouragement to others that may be suffering from some of the similar things, but, you know, just give an encouragement that regardless of the situation, we can, uh, walk together holding each other's hand and depending on the Lord to bring us through. So we encourage you, press in, follow our blog, leave us encouraging comments, pray for us on a regular basis because we're gonna need it. We're gonna need prayer, we're gonna need discernment, we're gonna need wisdom. And we just ask that you pray on our behalf. Uh, we'll try to make our needs and requests known through the blog. And what's exciting is through this, 
We really believe that the Lord is leading us to some exciting things that's going to be coming in the future. But until then, this is Mike Wheel. And I'm Davina. Love and peace. This, this is, is our story. story.